Ukraine is people. I'm sorry. Are there a few people out here that know Megan Miles? So weird. It's probably because she's awesome. Um, she was the one of the first people to respond to every question, and I won't fuck up the dad jokes one like I did with Dean. Uh, she, I'm not even going to read the questions. She used to voluntarily dip cucumbers into ketchup and eat them as a snack. Woo! Something that makes her laugh. <laughs> this made me cringe. An old YouTube video of a monkey sticking his finger up his butt and then smelling it. This... <laughs> The smell is so horrible, he then lifts his hands up in the air and falls off of a tree. <laughs> the songs in hell, any and all country songs, except Texas Hold'em by Beyonce, because that song slaps. I know that's right. <laughs> I, know that's right. I heard you. Um, what are your favorite social media accounts to follow? Hashtag server light. Hello. Server underscore life. Server life. Next up. Uh, at bitchy waiter, that's great, and at anti skates. Uh, weirdest movie that you've ever seen? Describe it. Vampire's Kiss. Description: Nicholas Cage. <laughs> what does a pig use to strum his guitar? His hamstrings. And Megan wrote that herself. Last but not least, a cockroach can be submerged underwater for 45 minutes and still live. Ugh. It's right up there with the gadrillion viruses that are on my person right now. Um, I've known Megan for a long time. She's fucking hilarious, and I'm very excited to have her on our stage for the first time. So please, for those of you that know and don't know Megan, round of applause. Yeah. In hand. Oh, this is, we're doing this really smoothly. All right, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Um, raise your hand if you've ever met a fuckboy before. Great, we're in good company. Um, tonight, we're going to explore how to attract and keep America's most sought after forbidden fruit, the fuckboy. Uh, so buckle up, it's about to get real. Um, Megan's dictionary uh, defines a fuckboy as follows. An attractive individual who loves casual sex, hates long-term relationships, and avoids communication. Every morning they eat a big bowl of hidden insecurity and wash it down with a warm cup of narcissism. Some work out and some don't because it cuts into their partying. Um, some play instruments and some just prefer to play mind games. Uh, some love to dance and some wear tight pants. Uh, they love dogs, plants, and fish because of the silent attention that these creatures are capable of giving them on a regular basis. And uh, they have a lot of charisma, or riz, as the kids are saying these days. They are very generous lovers, and they will repeatedly take you to pound town via the fuck truck. After all, they are certified digmatist. Digmatist, gifted individuals who will swing their dicks right in front of you, sending you into a delusional state of dignosis. Digmatist, you're getting very horny. Digmatist, multiple orgasms are in your future. Now, if you're as crazy as I am, this sounds exciting. Uh, in order to attract one, uh, we must discovery channel our way into their natural habitat. Great news. Fuck boys are everywhere. Uh, Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, Instagram, King Supers, Target, Walmart, Walgreens, 24-Hour Fitness, Choose Fitness, Orange Theory, Orange County, South Orange, Red Rocks, Yoga Box, uh, Temple, Gin Mill, Milk Bar, My Front Porch, Your Mom's House, Call Your Mother, Fellow Traveler, and of course, The Bug Theater. Yes. Uh, now, if your local business did not make the list of frequent fuckboy destinations, please contact me after the show and I will make sure that they get added. Uh, so how do we attract these frogs? Uh, the answer is simple. Exist. Uh, what you do for a living doesn't matter. Your hobbies, unimportant. Life goals, trash. Just exist. Now, if you do want to up your game on fuckboy attraction, there are a couple of things that I do recommend. Number one, practice a fuckboy meditation 
meditation every day. So let's try this together. Uh, everyone close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth exhale. And silently say, I don't catch feelings, I catch flights. I am confused and it's fun. Inhale, exhale, beautiful, open your eyes. Uh, this meditation will help you to truly embody fuckboy intentions and manifest uh, your heart's desire. Now number two, lie. Lie to yourself like you've never lied before, all right? I want you to tell yourself that you're okay with being on this super confusing, dishonest roller coaster because the buildup is unpredictable and the climax is huge. And let's be dishonest, it's a fun ride and the operator is hot. All right, so congratulations, you have done it. You're officially in a super toxic situationship uh, where emotions run high and anxiety gets a full body workout. In order to maintain this, we must know how to keep a fuck boy. We have to know, right? And the answer is very, very simple. Don't. Do not keep a fuckboy under any circumstance. No matter how hard they try to digmatize you, it is not worth the pain and stress that this might cause you. You can't change people. They have to want to change on their own. And the truth is, fuckboys aren't even fuckboys. They are sad boys. Sad boys who are trained by the patriarchy to believe that expressing their feelings is wrong and shows weakness. All right? It's, it's, it's terrible. The truth is we all deserve love, every one of us. Uh, as the great, Kate, uh, great Carrie Bradshaw once said, uh, I want real love, uh, consuming, overwhelming, inconvenient, can't breathe love. We deserve for someone to look at us the way that Travis looks at Taylor, the way that Lawrence looks at Issa, the way that Mac Miller used to look at Ariana Grande. We need that. Okay, so let's please, please normalize sharing our feelings and celebrate vulnerability. It is okay to be human. You are enough, okay? You are, I promise. And if you are a sad boy, please consider therapy. Thank you. I'm not letting her go off stage for, for one reason. Uh, by looking solely at our shoe choice, one of us really was supposed to be up here talking about fuckboys. The other one should be at home eating meatloaf. So, yeah, that was, the, what, <laughs> come over to my house for meatloaf. Also, uh, just as an aside, Megan brought banana bread for all the speakers. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're fantastic, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>